Hey everybody, Dr. Oliver here from backintelligence.com and today we're going to go over some neck strengthening exercises. We're going to give you three exercises to help strengthen your neck, support your posture, and reduce your pain. If you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button so you get access to videos as we release them. So the neck strength is really important. A lot of people tend to be deconditioned and have poor strength in their neck, especially those deep neck flexors which are deep inside your neck. So these exercises are aimed at targeting and strengthening these muscles. So we're going to start out with the most basic one. We're going to use the wall as a reference point. We've talked about chin tucks before, but now what you get to use is the wall as a reference point. You have your shoulders on the wall, and your head is probably more than likely a little bit away from the wall from that. From there, you're just going to do a retraction or a chin tucking maneuver where you try to get to the wall and touch it. If you can't get there, don't worry about it right now. You're just trying to get yourself back. You use the wall as a reference point to see how you're doing. You can see Leon's doing good. Now he's not looking down, he's not looking up. He's just going straight back. It's almost like your chin was on a table and you're sliding it right back. You should feel a lot of packing in the front of the neck here, maybe a little stretching in the, in the upper back of the neck there. So we're gonna do just reps of these. We're gonna do 10 reps of these and just get as close to that wall as we can. If you feel a little bit of shake going on in the front of your neck, that's actually a good sign you're using some of those deeper, deeper neck muscles. So after you do 10 of these, we can work on some isometrics and we're gonna work on all the ranges of motion of the head. So what you're gonna need is some sort of object that is dense and it doesn't collapse down on you. This is just a massage ball we have here and we're gonna push into it in all different ranges of motion. So we're gonna lean on that ball. So we're gonna do it, we'll start on the side and he'll put it right on the side of his head. And what he's doing, he's doing an isometric contraction. What that means, he's not lengthening or shortening a muscle, he's just pushing into that object while contracting the muscles in his neck without moving. He's gonna do that for three seconds, he's gonna relax, and he's gonna do it for three seconds. He's gonna do that five times in each position. So a nice three section, three second contraction, and then he's gonna to go to the back of the head, Again, engaging the wall as he pushes into it for three seconds and relaxing. He's gonna do that five times in each position. It shouldn't hurt, shouldn't cause any pain. Isometrics are generally a safe exercise, so if it causes any pain, that's not a good thing for you, and don't do it. After you go from there, he's gonna to go to the other side of the head, and again, he's getting right on the side of the head. He's just engaging the wall without getting any movement of his head itself. Three second holds five times and then he's going to switch to the front. He's going to complete the circuit and he's going to go to the front. He's going to put it right on his forehead and engage that as well. So as Leon turns over here, good. And again, he's not looking down, he's not looking back. He's just isometrically contracting and stabilizing and strengthening those muscles in his neck for good support, good posture. He's in a good stack position, his head's over his shoulders. We're going to do those three second contractions five times. After we do these exercises, we're gonna to go to another exercise on the ground, which is another really good option for getting at those deep, deep neck muscles for the core stability of our neck. All right, so we're gonna go over that third exercise, the strength of the neck. We're gonna do it laying down, preferably on the ground. You can do this in your bed as well, which is fine, but you, preferably you'll be on a nice, flat, even surface that's supportive. So you just lay down, you have your knees bent, take some tension out of your back, head supported. If you find when you're laying down like this that you're really extended because you are dealing with a lot of forward head carriage, it's okay to use a thin pillow under your head. You don't wanna feel like you're leaning back into the ground like this. You wanna feel relaxed as you do this to some degree. From this position, what you're gonna do is that tucking motion, which is gonna be a little more of a scooping down of the chin on this one, so we're gonna bring this down. You can see how he's nice and packed in there in the neck. You can see how you get the creases and folds in your neck there. That's what we wanna see. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna initiate like you're going to lift your head, but you're not actually going to do that. You're just gonna take a few pounds of pressure off your head while still being able to feel the ground. So all you're doing is tucking the chin and starting like you're about to lift your head off the ground, take a few pounds of pressure off, and you should feel a nice, strong, deep shake in your neck. Those are those deep muscles really active. And this is probably the best exercise to do this. You just have to get on the ground to do it. So we're gonna contract that and hold for about three seconds, and then you're gonna relax back, and you're gonna repeat that 10 times. As you get comfortable with this, as you get stronger, you're gonna increase that hold to five seconds and then eventually 10 seconds. You wanna be comfortable with this. One key thing to look out for is you really don't wanna to lift too high. We'll have Leon do one where he lifts too high and what's gonna actually happen is you're gonna turn on other muscles in your neck that we don't wanna turn on that are generally too tight on us anyway. So again, 
You should maintain or feel a little bit of contact of your hair to the ground there so you, you're not lifting completely, just taking a few pounds of pressure off. So try these exercises, see if you can get, build the strength of that neck, see if you can work on that posture and reduce your overall pain and maybe even your headaches. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like it and share it with a friend. Also, we'd love to send you three posture correction exercises that we've done with Dr. David Oliver. These videos will help correct that forward head and rounded shoulder type of posture that we're all suffering from today. So if you'd like to get those three videos, there's gonna be a link to get them somewhere here on the video or down below in the description. Go to that page, enter your email, and we'll send you those videos right away.